One, two, three. Voila! I have got some more supplies to show y'all. Today is kind of the day of new feeding tube and IV therapy supplies. Saturday morning, everyone. I'm just recovering from last night. Babe, show them our look. She is happily and cozy underneath the bed. It's cold here. My nose is cold. You know, it's cold, and Harlow now likes to sleep under the bed. <laughs> and then, like, if I'll get up or Jed gets up and we call her, whoever's still in bed will hear a <laughs> as she gets up and puts her head on the bed. She likes it under there. Well, Paul and I are going to go to the range today. I'm going to pick him up truck, and Jack and Janice are just going to pretty do much this. do a little bit more than what you're seeing right now. Or it's less. still kind of early, and I... Last night wasn't as bad as the night before, but I need some time. You are going to have fun. Oh, Judd's picking up my new feeding tube backpack from the seamstress. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Harlow has emerged. <laughs> <laughs> She's waiting for Orion. She was pouting. Maybe she was under the bed pouting because she wasn't playing with Orion. She wasn't playing with anybody. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> One, two, three. Voila! It's my new feeding tube backpack. That was a cool. Was it cheesy? It was. <laughs> She's obsessed. I really like it. This is from Vera Bradley. It's a mini backpack and I got it 50% off and I dropped it at the seamstress and she altered it to accommodate my feet. So at the top here is a clip to hold my feed bag. I'm probably going to ask her to shorten it though so it's not hanging down as low. There is a clip here on the side to hold the excess tubing. And then, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there is an elastic band here to hold the pump in place so the pump doesn't fall and kink the tubing, which is an improvement for my other altered backpacks. And then there is something here on the side to let the tubing run out right to my feeding tube. I love it. And then there is more space in this bag than my other backpacks. There's a pocket here, pockets on the side, and then there's another compartment here in the back with more space and you can put like a phone there I'm guessing. I really really like this backpack. And of course it's like my favorite color with a pretty pattern. And the straps are comfortable. It rocks. I have got some more supplies to show y'all. Today is kind of the day of new feeding tube and IV therapy supplies. So. This is the suitcase I had been looking for. If y'all may recall, Paul, Janice, Judd, and I, and the dogs, the pooches, we are taking a trip in April and we are flying. And I wanted a hard carry-on suitcase to put all of my medical supplies. I don't want to check it because if they lose my luggage with my checked medical supplies, that could be bad. And I ordered this one from Target. Yes, it is pink. I love it. Zipper it open. And the inside has pink polka dots and it's got compartments and straps and it's perfect. And I wanted a hard suitcase for extra protection of my medical supplies and it's a spinner style suitcase, meaning the wheels swivel every which way. I feel like the dogs are watching me give my presentation. I've got Harlow and Orion here. I got more to show y'all. Ta-da! More organization travel supplies. So, the blue containers have my IV therapy supplies, and the green containers have my feeding tube supplies. And this is more for weekend trips to Orlando or other shorter stays. This would not fit in my travel suitcase. I have to pack it differently in the suitcase, but this is much more convenient for when, you know, we go to Orlando or take other trips mainly in the car. So, these 
organization bins came from Target and they all clip to one another and it comes with like this organization top so I've got some port care stuff, alcohol swabs, there's another six compartment thing at the second one and I've got my IV medicine vials in there and then I've got like a port start kit and a port needle and another port start kit and a port needle in there. And this one, I've got lots of saline flushes, and I've got saline flushes here as well. And here I've got my heparin, my high-dose heparin and low-dose heparin. And in the bottom, I've got my needles for my IV medications. For my feeding tube supplies, I've got some Kate Farms, my formula in the bottom, in the middle compartment. I've got my split gauze for cleaning around my feeding tube, my grip lock, which is the thing here that holds my tubing so it doesn't get yanked. Like if I get caught on something and it yanks, it pulls here rather than at my feeding tube itself. And I've got like extra extension tubing. And then in the top of this, there's another six part organization in it. So I've got my little slip tip syringe to like check the water inside the balloon. I've got this little container. I need to get another one. So I'm going to fill this one with distilled water, which is what I use for the balloon for the feeding tube. And another one with witch hazel, which I use around my tube to help with granulation tissue, which is just like raw irritated skin. Basically the witch hazel helps keep my stoma healthy. And then of course I've got tubey pads. Okay, this one's a little heavy. And the big one here in the bottom, I've just got eight bottles of formula. And then in the top, I've got my um, feed bags. And of course, I can fit other things I need, like my flush to flush my tube and tegaderms, whatever else. I really, really like how they have the six part organization stuff because it's just so convenient for all the stuff I need. Like, you know, I got the swab caps, the bio patches, enclaves. It's just really cool. And again, all of this came from Target. So I just like to find ways to keep my vast amounts of medical supplies organized, especially when traveling. And now it's like all set and ready to go. So hopefully traveling will be easier now. Well, we finished our live stream. Our Thank 100K celebration. Yes. Thank you guys for 100,000 followers. Thank you if you were able to make it to the live stream and actually watch it Check live. It, right it is here. gonna be somewhere in this corner. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's Paul in the background playing with Harlow and Orion. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to playing. Far Cry 5, With Paul. That, that's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for all of your support. Y'all are mm -hmm. the reason we do why what we do. And yeah, you are the reason truly for do our success. Everything just for you guys, 100%. So, thank so. you so much. We love y'all. <laughs> the live stream was awesome. Thanks again for all the support y'all offer. Now I am back here with Janice. We are chilling. I have been resting, resting, resting today, so hopefully I have the energy to go to church tomorrow for Easter. I was able to take a two-hour nap, which is awesome. Just trying to catch up on some of the sleep I lost last night, and yeah, we're just gonna keep chilling. Are we gonna try and play the Bob's Burgers Monopoly version? Hopefully. It'll be fun. I don't like Monopoly, but I like Bob's Burgers. Here we go, Monopoly Bob's Burgers edition. We've got our little people. Janice already called Louise. I did. Which, all right, all right. So I'm gonna be Tina, cause I'm awkward like her. Judd's gonna be Bob, he's holding a little burger. And Paul's gonna be Jean. <coughs> Harlo and Orion are just gonna be cheerleaders. Yes, I agree. Did you bring me a popsicle? Thank you. And we've got Bob's Burgers playing while we play Bob's Burgers. I am enjoying a popsicle. Janice is not enjoying the game. <laughs> She's had to pay us all money. She's just <laughs> had to pay the money bank like she had to pay the three bank each time. Like three time times I'm money. And she went she's back not... in spaces too. Yeah, she's not doing great, but we're all having a great time. Mm -hmm. Even the pooches.
<laughs> Judd landed on Bob's Burgers and it's literally one of the cheapest spots. It's 60? You gotta get it, babe. It's iconic. If someone lands on it, it's only $4 that you get. <laughs> oh. Only four dollars? Yeah, right. Well, that's not worth it. <laughs> you are not gonna get it. You know how much it would take you to pay that. Poor like, Bob's yeah, Burger. If, if you get the other one, it does help. You know how much in the hole you would be, like the entire game. I would get you the Bob's be. Burgers. I would do it. Not, not worth it. Right, pooches. The game is named after it. Yeah, serious. I am surprised it's so cheap. <laughs> it should be worth here. It should be $4. worth four hundred. I got it. I got the Bob's Burgers! And Janice just got a good property too. She's catching up. I have the pink places, of course. And I have houses. Well, they're right? called modest of apartments. Pink. Yeah, of course I got the pink. Awesome. Okay, maybe I like Monopoly. The dogs are sleepy. I now have many little houses. They're considered modest apartments. And there's some dangerous negotiations going on between I'll Paul and Janice. I'll give you for Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're gonna take Bob's Burgers from me? You didn't want it before! I'll give you 50 bucks for you it You don't now. value the Bob's I'll give you Burgers. I'll 50 bucks for it now, though. No. Alright, then be salty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was waiting! 750! <laughs> He's out for the count. Are you done? Are we done already? He's no. coming close. No, I was about to buy a bunch of houses on my properties, but I think apparently... If he rolls one more time and yes. gets like a two, he's, uh, he's screwed. <laughs> yes. $1,400 gone at $750? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting mansions. All right, this is a trap. Let's uh, see who's who going to be in there next. She owns all four of these. Yep. Seven, nine, Jen's, or twelve. Jen's going through the danger zone. Seven, nine, right. or twelve. Janice, Seven, nine, or twelve. Seven, Janice nine, and I, or someone's going to take him out. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh. Pretty good, twin. Oh, I think that's spot on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Ah! Oh! Jimmy Pestos. Jimmy Pestos. <laughs> that is... 750. That's gonna be a lot of 50s and a lot of ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob's Burgers Monopoly was pretty fun. Okay, it was the first time I played Monopoly and enjoyed it, but then we started crashing because it was getting late. So we cut the game short, but I won for the first time ever. Even though the guys think she cheated. I didn't cheat though. I'm actually very honest when playing board games. This one isn't. She'll admit it. She does cheat. But I gotta say that today was a pretty great day with my gastroparesis. I was able to have some popsicles and some bread and even some turkey breasts, like, you know, the lunch meat from the deli. It's a good day. And it's not like I did anything different to make today a better day. It's just the unpredictable nature of chronic illness. Some days are unpredictable in a not so great way and some days are unpredictable in an awesome way. So I'm just gonna take it and be thankful and I'm praying that tonight goes well, the nausea and vomiting, and we get to go to church tomorrow. So with that, we will say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.